How to store dry ice. Put on insulated gloves and place the dry ice into an insulated container, such as a styrofoam cooler. Add some crumpled paper to the container and keep it closed as much as possible. Store the cooler in a cold, well, ventilated area. Don't use an airtight container and don't put it in the freezer. Part 1 Storing the Dry Ice 1. Purchase the dry ice close to when you want to use it. Though you can slow down the sublimation process, you can't stop it. Therefore, purchase dry ice as close to when you want to use it as possible. You'll lose 5 to 10 pounds of dry ice in a day, even when the dry ice is stored well. 2. Put on insulated gloves and protect your arms. Dry ice can burn your skin because of the extreme temperature. Insulated gloves will protect your hands from frostbite when handling dry ice. You should try to handle it as little as possible. In addition, wearing long sleeves can protect your arms while you are using dry ice. 3. Keep the dry ice in a well, insulated container. A thick styrofoam cooler is sufficient to keep dry ice for an extended period of time. You can also use a standard cooler, such as one you use to hold cold drinks. 4. Add crumpled paper to the container. Fill up the rest of the container with crumpled paper. This process will help slow down the sublimation, as it lessens how much dead space is in the container. 5. Keep the container closed as much as possible. The more you open the container, the more warm air you let in. Warm air increases the sublimation process, meaning your dry ice evaporates more quickly. 6. Place the cooler in a cold area. If it's cold outside, set the cooler outside. If it's warm, keep the cooler in a cool place inside. Basically, you want to keep the temperature outside of the cooler as cool as possible, as it lowers the sublimation rate of the ice. 7. Pay attention to burns. If you have a light burn that only causes redness, the burn should heal on its own. However, if dry ice causes your skin to blister, or if your skin starts peeling, you need to go to the doctor. Part 2 Avoiding the Hazards 1. Keep it in a ventilated area. Because dry ice releases carbon dioxide, it can be hazardous to humans in a closed, off area. Make sure plenty of fresh air is getting into the room where the dry ice is being stored. Otherwise, it can cause asphyxiation in humans and animals. Remember, a closed car is an unventilated area, especially if the air is not on. Don't leave dry ice in a parked, closed car. When transporting it, open the windows, or make sure you set the air conditioner to bring in fresh air. In addition, place it away from you when you're driving. 2. Don't use an airtight container. Dry ice sublimates instead of melts, meaning it releases carbon dioxide. As carbon dioxide changes to gas, it needs room to escape. If you use an airtight container, the gas cannot escape. In extreme cases, the gas can expand too much, causing an explosion. 3. Don't put it in the freezer. A freezer is airtight, and it can cause the dry ice to explode. Also, if you try to put dry ice in a regular freezer or refrigerator, you could destroy the system, as the thermostats are not made to handle those kinds of temperatures. 4. Put on safety goggles and a face shield to break up ice. If you plan on breaking up a block of dry ice, you should wear safety goggles and a face shield to protect your eyes. Otherwise, shards of ice can fly into your eyes and cause burns. 5. Stay away from low areas. Carbon dioxide tends to sink in rooms, as it is heavier than the air you breathe. Therefore, it will collect in low areas. 
Don't intentionally stick your head in those areas. 6. Be careful what surfaces you put dry ice on. Dry ice can damage many surfaces due to its extreme temperatures. For instance, you can crack tile or other countertop surfaces by placing dry ice on it. 7. Dispose of dry ice properly. The best way to get rid of unused dry ice is to let the unused portion continue to sublimate. Make sure the area is well ventilated while the dry ice continues to disappear. Don't put dry ice down a sink or in a toilet, as you may destroy them. Similarly, don't put dry ice in a trash can or leave it where it can accidentally be picked up or touched by someone who doesn't know it's dry ice, as it can burn them. Tips If at any time while handling dry ice you have difficulty breathing, get a headache, have a rapid heartbeat, or get dizzy, get to a well-ventilated area immediately, as these are signs of asphyxiation.